Welcome to part 5 of the Barcode Reader tutorial series. Today, we continue to build a desktop reader application using the Dynamsoft Barcode Reader Python SDK. Before we start, let's check the system requirement and make sure your Python version works with the SDK. Let's install the Dynamsoft Barcode Reader first. Start a terminal or the command prompt to run the following command. The installation will be done in a few minutes. In this video, I will use PyCharm to write the code. You can also use Sublime Text or other text editors. Okay, let's create a new source file named dbrpythonsample.py. Open the file and import the package at the beginning of the file. Datumsoft Bar Creator is a commercial SDK. So, you need a license to use it. You can request a free trial license from the customer portal and replace the license number here. Then, I will create a Dynamsoft Bar Creator instance. There are several decoding methods provided by the SDK. Here, we want to decode barcodes from a specified image file so we can call the decode underscore file interface. You can also decode barcodes from a file or a camera. And we will use a for loop to output the barcode results. The SDK returns some multiple data points about the barcode, such as barcode count, barcode format, barcode text, location of the barcode, and much more. For the error handling mechanism, the SDK throws a barcode reader error for each error that occurs. You can add the code for exception handling based on your own needs. Finally, destroy all the instances to release the resources. Now, let's run the project. There you go! You just built the Python barcode reading application in two minutes. With a few lines of code, you can quickly integrate our SDK into your own Python project. Check our documentation to learn more about how to configure scan settings that works best in your usage scenario. Datum Software Creator is an enterprise-grade cross-platform SDK for web browsers, Windows, Linux, iOS, and Android. Check out other videos in the series to learn how to build a barcode reader application in other languages. Like and subscribe for more tutorials like this, and thank you for watching.